wonderful people welcome to altar of mercy television where you enjoy every moment and do not forget that this is our month of kindness i will be taking you guys on c2 and our topic today will be god become god's steward our key text will be taken from first corinthians 4 verse 7 and it says for who makes you differ from another and what do you have that they did not receive now if you did indeed receive why do you boast as if you had not received it bagana thoughts on the text many years ago during the period when oliver Cromwell was lord protector of great britain the kingdom began to experience a shortage in silver mint coins and because they didn't have the means of manufacturing these coins coupled with the war that was going on at the time that restricted the inflow of goods into the country, they experienced a drastic deadline in the supply of silver coins. One day, one of his assistants reported to Cromwell that they couldn't find any silver in the country except in the cathedral. In those days, silver was used to mold the statues of the saints in different cathedrals across Europe. After much thought, Cromwell said, it's time to melt the saints and get them back into circulation. Being melted means letting go of your self-image or your self-worth so Jesus can live through you. It's time to get melted so that you can get back into circulation and make a difference for Jesus. One of the ways you can do this is by having a deeper understanding of your call as God's steward. A steward is one who invests, manages and accounts for someone else's resources. Whatever you have been given by God through grace and favor, because of who you are in Christ, you are expected to generously invest what you have to be a blessing to others and advance the kingdom agenda. Application You are blessed to complement and not to outdo others. What you have is not for your selfish consumption, but for kingdom advancement. Ask the Lord to open your eyes the same way he opened Hannah's eyes. Hannah was in desperate need of a child and God needed a prophet. God remembered Hannah when she took the responsibility of stewarding the vessel that was needed as the next prophet in Israel. When you face life with the mindset of stewardship, life will fast track the manifestations of God's supernatural provision over your life. Now, I'd like us to raise our hands while we say this prayer. Oh Lord, help me to align to the purpose of your blessings in my life. Let's say that one more time. Oh Lord, help me to align to the purpose of your blessings in my life in Jesus' name. Amen. And our action point. Decide never to allow yourself to be used as an instrument of the enemy through pride and selfishness. Thank you once again for joining us on this encounter with Power Seed. I'm Obolo Faith and keep being the best. It is always your choice. AOMTV, Altar of Mercy Television.